Hi guys, day three of the Where's Shmi Euro Tour and of course we're kicking off at the Motor World. We were staying at the V8 Hotel last night, incredibly cool place, and today we're going to take a look around here and then visit some other places in the Stuttgart region. So first up, this is a gorgeous McLaren 650S, Volcano Red, parked right here and in the background I think I just heard a 458 driving. Can't see it yet, but we're going to head inside the museum and take a look around. Coming straight in, we've got an F40 up at the top there, quite hard to see. This SLS Roadster I've shown you before, but look at the number plates on that. It was here when I visited last year. It's like almost Schmi 150. It's quite funny. There's also a Weisman just there, which is a obviously a pretty rare car. There's a McLaren dealer here. Guys looked after me really well when I came before. Just had a quick check up on the car. Two cars in the showroom right now. A white one with some customization to it. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber diffuser, which I really, really like, and some custom unique wheels as well. Um, special edition. And then a McLaren Orange 650S alongside that. So let's keep walking through to the main parts. These are pretty cool. C63 estate. Why not? Massive noise from a family estate car. We've got a couple more McLarens out here. Volcano Red 12C and a black 650S Spider. This is like dealerships and storage all in this place. So people can leave their cars like this Enzo. Seen this here a few times actually. Still with the livery from the uh, Ferrari Tribute run to Millimilia 2010. So it's been here a couple of years now, I guess. Looks pretty cool. And as we head down, we've got the Lamborghini and Bentley dealerships. So this is quite rare, LP550 Balboni with that signature stripe, named after Valentino Balboni, rear wheel drive Gallardo. Normal 560, Superleggera. Then a sort of modified LP640. Interesting color scheme and a rear wing on the back. Lamborghini Huracan, of course. Had a lot of fun driving one of those. Amusing fact, this color is called Verde Mantis. And the color on the 650S, or my 650S, is Mantis Green, which quite literally mean the same thing in Italian and English. But they both released their cars at Geneva last year, so um, I think that's all quite coincidental. I've got a Wraith tucked in here too. And that, an LP670 SV, which looks awesome in matte black. Just look at that thing, it's so cool. Anyway, we're gonna head outside now, get in the cars and uh, get on our way for the day. I told a lie then, I didn't get as far as leaving, walked out around the back and look at some of the cars that there are out here. Facelift, LP560, Aventador, Roadster and a Bentley GT3R. Obviously those are very limited, brand new. Cool to see that here actually, wearing an English plate. I wonder if it's a press car or doing something here in Germany. Um, there's a sort of Big load of nice cars right here. Uh, what else do we have? Gallardo LP570 Super Trofeo Stradale. That's one of the sort of final runs. Has its lift system up at the front. Always looks funny on cars when that's like that. I can hear another Aventador coming in, just parking there. In the uh, lighter orange color, Aventador Roadster. Not a bad lineup. Gembala then and things are pretty busy here. They're working on an incredibly exciting project that's going to be coming out very soon. We're going to go for a quick drive in the Mistrale, their version of the Porsche Panamera of course, so let's go get the car out. We're at the runway and the camera guys are ready. Of course we've got the Gembala Mistral. 744 brake horsepower, 980 newton meters of torque. Completely reworked body design. We'll just take a quick walk around. And of course, insane performance along the lines of the Ferrari Enzo. I've just been told it's actually 30 seconds quicker to 300 kilometers per hour than the original Panamera Turbo, which is just insane. 
and it sounds phenomenal too. Right, so let's get started up and head up the runway. Mr. Al, in typical Porsche fashion, the key is on the left, but listen to this. So nice, so nice. Exhaust button, obviously. Sport Plus button, obviously. Fruity. Let's head off. Just listen to that. I'm not even accelerating hard. We're in Sport Plus, so it holds the gears. That is just phenomenal. Get some downshifts. This car is seriously ferocious. Driving it in Monaco was cool, but having some space on the open runway, my goodness, it has so much power and it just sounds phenomenal. We need to do a tour with something like this. Just imagine, we've got so much space, big boots, everything you need. It looks cool, sounds cool. What's a car? They're only making 30 of these, 30th anniversary, the Mistral Mister, from Gambala. Fun over with the Mistral then, and we're having a little play with the McLaren and the BMW. We're going to do some launch controls in the 650S on the runway, and then experiment with the M4. Awesome. This car is a drifter's dream. That was unbelievable. <laughs> We've come to visit Voss Cars and I let Jason take the wheel of the McLaren there. I was sat in the back of the M4. It was perfectly comfortable, I have to say. But you might remember I came by last year to take a look at a Novatec Enlargo and Gembala Mirage GT. Well, they've got some pretty cool stuff out here too. We'll take a look inside, take a look out and see what's around. Down here we've got a Gembala Avalanche and what you can hear is the new Voss Cars, Voss Performance Hurricane. So we're gonna take a full look at this car while we're here, which both looks and sounds extraordinary. They've added a new titanium exhaust system, carbon fiber splitter, rear wing, and a whole host of interior parts as well. Inside, pair of Maserati MC12s. Standard MC12 and the MC12 Corsa. Absolutely awesome machines. don't have any ears left. <laughs> that was quite loud. <laughs>
attached to Motor World, there is a Ferrari dealership, and in here in the service center, if we just take a quick look, is a Speciali A, the convertible version of the Speciali, the hardcore version of the 458. Um, first customer, one of those I've spotted, and there's tons of other 458s and stuff in there as well. Let's head back over. That was a pretty cool way to end day three of the tour with my friend in his Ferrari 599 GTO, which if I zoom in, is all the way down there right now. You might remember last year we drove in convoy with the GTO and the 12C through the tunnels in towards Italy, which was pretty awesome. Anyway, today turned out to be pretty good, starting off obviously inside Motorworld, taking a look around with the film guys. Then we went to Gambala, checked out the Mistral, and then to Voss Cars and had a look at their Hurricane 2. So it's been a good one, and tomorrow we're off on the road a little bit further south in Germany. A couple more places to visit and some more cool stuff to get up to. So thank you very much for watching. Can't wait for tomorrow. I'll catch up with you then. Cheers. Time to fill you in on all of the details for this year's Where's Schmi Euro Tour. I'd Just say, like it's right behind me here. It is an Austin Yellow BMW M4 Coupe. 3 litre twin turbo straight six engine, 425.